Hi guys, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. This is going to be a general reading guys, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But you will know it's your message if it resonates with you, if it speaks to you. If you feel like it's not resonating, it's okay. It just might mean that it's not your message, so don't try and force fit it. Um, just let things flow, okay? Just let things flow. Um, with all of that said, let's get into it. the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. There are some very interesting messages um, and some very fascinating energies here. It feels like there's a lot that is orbiting in your space. It feels like there's a lot that you're wanting to attract, right? The Seven of Chalices energy, um, the Magician. I feel like to the person that I'm connecting to, for the most part, you're very specific about what you want. But you're probably equally or even more specific about what you don't want. And although there are so many, like there's so many things, opportunities, people that are orbiting around you some of you are having a hard time attracting them or some of you are instead of attracting them you're repelling them you're not doing it because you want to it's not like you have this strong desire to repel the very thing that you want to attract or the very person that you want to attract or the very thing that you want to manifest but this is happening either subconsciously or unconsciously um Say, for instance, to the person that I'm connecting to, if you are single or even if you're in a relationship, you kind of feel like the relationship doesn't feel solid. It doesn't feel really grounded. So you feel like despite you're in a, despite you being in a relationship, you don't feel like this person is committed or you don't feel like, you know, that both of you are committed to this. On a subconscious or an unconscious level, you are carrying out actions that are attracting what you don't want because deep down inside maybe you don't believe that it all comes down to your beliefs because maybe you don't believe that you deserve the very thing that you're trying to attract or maybe you don't feel like it's just going to happen for you maybe you don't believe in the whole you know law law of attraction the law of manifestation law of assumption all of that um maybe you want to Maybe you want to believe it, but deep down inside, you don't. So there's this energy, there's this strong energy of, yeah, I feel like some of you have this, it's, it's like this poor mindset. This poor mindset that I feel like is translating itself to different areas of your life. What exactly is making up this poor mindset? It's actually a collection of a lot of things. It's a collection of preconceived notions that have that you have built up on and these are based on like different influences around you. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be your personal experiences, especially any challenges, um, any uh, like tough experiences that you've had, media, education, you get it, all external influences around you. Um, and it's this set of beliefs that is so deeply ingrained in you. So you're single and you and you have been single for some time because even though you might be wanting to attract 
a specific person okay or reattract a specific person it's your mindset because of your mindset and what you believe about yourself consciously uh, sorry unconsciously or subconsciously you are carrying out like your behavior reinforces that mindset and some of you i feel like there's this poor mindset that you have and even though you want to attract money or finances or abundance or materialism in your life your you your energy you keep associating with low levels of money yeah and it feels like you have this lower quality of life you may have an accumulated accum uh, sorry accumulated debt credit cards loans it's just that yeah your energy is associating with low levels of money For some of you, I feel like you're doing this because there's been past experiences where, say for example, to the person that I'm connecting to, if you've been in a relationship where you've been really hurt before, you've been hurt and you've been betrayed, um, you, you have sort of conditioned yourself to think that relationships mean that you're going to get betrayed you know relationships have to be painful you've just you have grew so accustomed to that that there is now an expectation that's not to say you desire that or that's not to say that's what you want um but subconsciously or unconsciously you then attract the type of people or the type of romantic situations where you are able to experience a sense of pain or a sense of betrayal or someone who you know is dishonest or someone who is disloyal so it's your beliefs that are keeping you stuck it's your beliefs that are keeping you that keep you lying to yourself it's your beliefs that um, keep you in an energy where you just you can't decide or in an energy where even though you know you're very specific about what you do want you're a lot more specific about what you don't want and so and therefore your energy is going where you know you're directing it and a lot of you are a lot of you are directing your energy towards what you don't want in fact you're way too specific there's too much specificity about what you don't want instead you have to be instead you have to redirect your energy right and refocus your energy on what you want to attract um the person that you want to attract or the the types of opportunities or the types of situations that you want to attract into your life i also feel like there's this i don't know it feels like there's some sort of element of risk in your energy now you feel like you can't afford to take the risk right now and maybe you can't maybe some sort of financial risk that you can't afford to take um but the thing is people with a much more prosperous mindset they're likely to calculate the risk of their investment if their calculations are satisfactory then they will this will increase their chances of wealth so yes there is some sort of risk and i don't know whether it pertains to love or finances or romance or some sort of personal endeavor but the risk doesn't you know the risk can be measured it can be calculated and therefore I feel like the cards are encouraging that you do take some sort of calculated risk and if the if the estimate is satisfactory is satisfactory for you then perhaps you might be able to see this as a chance to increase your you know your opportunities or your wealth or whatever it is there is this set of yeah it's it's patterns there's this set of thought patterns and there's this set of beliefs that i feel like is keeping you stuck and is keeping you from manifesting and from attracting the person or you know the thing that you want in your life um you're getting really you're getting too emotionally involved 
that's there's something here that's happened to you right i feel like you've been hurt or you've been betrayed um you've been lied to or maybe you are lying to yourself maybe this is self-deception self-deceit but there's something here that you're very emotionally involved in you need to let that go there are certain thought patterns so certain thought patterns or certain beliefs that I feel like are keeping you from getting what you want from manifesting who you want or are kind of keeping you stuck and I think these thought patterns for some of you they're not allowing you to attract money or finances into your life because especially if you grew up in a situation where maybe money was scarce right um and maybe you were encouraged to buy the things that you only really needed rather than things that you wanted you're going to continue you're going to continue to have that mindset and if you grew up thinking that money would never be enough for all the things that you wanted it can be really hard to unlearn that belief it can be really un very difficult to unlearn those thought patterns I feel like you're very close I feel like you're very like again I feel like the things that you want like the money the house the relationship the marriage the partnership the dream job you know that personal achievement the financial independence, the financial security, um, you know, all, all your wants and wishes that you desire, they are orbiting in your energy. But I feel like you have to, you have to concentrate your energy on attracting them rather than repelling them. For, for some of you specifically, I feel like you're trying to attract, maybe it's a certain individual that you want to attract in your life. Maybe you want this certain, maybe it's not a specific individual, maybe it's just that you want this individual to have certain qualities, maybe certain physical attributes, certain characteristics, certain traits, um, or maybe it is someone whom you have been linked to in the past, now you want to re-attract this person. But it feels like you're having a hard time you're having a hard time attracting this person because I feel like you're not trusting yourself. You're not trusting yourself. You're not trusting enough in yourself and enough in your ab abilities and enough in your skills and your talents. Because you have broken your trust. I think it's you. I think you have broken your trust with yourself. I feel like you have broken your trust in your subconscious that that is the very thing that is stopping you from getting this person or from getting that thing that you want. Is this making sense? I feel like some of you come close you come close to like you come close to manifesting maybe something as simple as a text receiving a text from your ex 
but then there's no flow, there's no synergy to that communication. There are certainly what feels like patterns. There are certainly patterns that are blocking you. Patterns in a mindset and this broken trust in yourself, in, sub in your subconscious, that are blocking you from finding the right person or from you know attracting the right person or finding um, true love. You might chalk it up to bad luck. It's not that. It's not that. The, the truth is I feel like you can manifest the soulmate connection and you can manifest this dream job or this dream life or financial abundance and you can use that you can do that using the power of your mind but to be able to call your manifestations into life you have there is certain things that need unblocking here identify patterns you have made in the past especially like for, for example if you want to attract a certain person which some of you have been doing and it feels like this person is orbiting around in your space if that makes sense right and the thing is i feel like either you're trying to attract an ex or re-attract someone back into your life or you're very specific about who you want to attract you won't be able to attract this person until you create the space in your life for a new relationship until you create the space in your life for this person the reason why you haven't created that space into your life in your life for this new relationship or this new connection or this new person is because you're still holding on to an old relationship or you're still holding on to the energy of an ex maybe you've let them go and they've left your life and you've removed them from your life but you're still holding on to the idea of them. You're still holding on to that idea. And that idea is in itself taking up space and taking up energy into your life. And that's why you're also having a hard time attracting this new person. Because it feels like, again, I've repeated this a few times, but it feels like, it, it feels like this person is close to you. I don't know if it's someone you work with. I don't know if it's someone that you're already connected to. But it feels like it's not quite happening. Maybe not as fast as you want it to happen or it's sort of not quite happening for you it's because the potentiality is there the possibility is there but you don't quite yet have space and room in this person for this person to show up in your life and to occupy that space okay so you need to remove you need to let go of um and the the energy of someone specific here, or you need to let go of the idea of this person or the idea of that relationship so that you can create space in your life for uh, you know this new energy this new person and releasing old beliefs okay because your mind this is what's repelling your manifestations your attractions it's your mind your mind is because of your beliefs your subconscious beliefs they are hindering you hindering you from finding love the more that you're able to recognize all patterns the more luggage baggage i should say you're going to release the more that you're going to open yourself up to receiving love especially the love that you crave If some of you are having a hard time with your manifestations, visualization could be a very good practice for you to try and, you know, just sit there and try and envision yourself having the life that you want or having the relationship that you want. Just really, really imagine what you want your life to look like and how you fit into that life. Allow yourself to feel it. Allow yourself to feel the experience of each day within that life or with with that person or you know in that dream job because the thing is there is this beauty to an intention to your manifestation um, and I feel like this message resonates with a lot of you watching um, you have this powerful energy right At attracting someone manifesting someone or something 
but you need to find a way to attract with intention manifest with intention you need to find a way to use that powerful energy there's also a power in collective manifestation so if you have a close friend or perhaps even you know the bunch of you watching this if you can sort of activate this power of collective uh, manifestation then then i truly feel like that could help with the you know with with your manifestations and just making them very clear to the universe And I feel like there's a power in sharing with people what you want. So there's a power in letting the universe know your manifestations, but also, you know, people around you, letting them know your manifestations, speaking it into existence. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye for now.